Hey guys, it's coffee time. I used the little coffee ice cubes today. Very excited about them. Um, they've already melted though, so I can't show them to you. Um, but it's funny because it's like, you forget that it's concentrated coffee, so when you're taking them out, you wind up with like big coffee smears all over your hand, and you're like, ooh. But they work. I mean, they're, they're, they're coffee. They're frozen coffee. It's fantastic. I love them. Um, I have clothes in front of my door right now <laughs> to see if it helps with soundproofing. Gonna, gonna ask if, um, I was a little less annoying this morning after I'm done filming, but the answer will most likely be no. So there's that. But it's Tuesday morning, um, and I go to work today, like a fancy person, and I've got these fun little friends that showed up today, like fancy people, very happy about those. It's fun, I, like, I don't, I don't really have the compulsion to, like, cover those up at all. It's like, they're, they need, they need to breathe and die on their own. Like, <laughs> I feel like makeup is just gonna hinder that process. Yeah. So, so that's my, that's my day so far. It was funny, um, somebody the other day, I was, we got coffee, and somebody was like, oh, I didn't expect you to be, um, somebody who drinks coffee black. And I was like, well, I don't think that it technically counts as drinking it black when you put, like, 18 sugars in it. That's an exaggeration. Um, <laughs> but it reminded me of, um, I think it was my mom. I'll ask her later. I'm, I'm gonna give her credit for this. Somebody was explaining to me, like business etiquette in terms of coffee and I kept wondering like if it's the same with tea like in other countries but like business etiquette with coffee if you are on like a extremely intense business trip of some sort and you are getting dinner or lunch or whatever with these extremely important business people and everybody's ordering coffee you order coffee um you are supposed to have it black if you are in a business meeting like because it shows strength <laughs> <laughs> shows strength of character. You're like, no, I'll take my coffee black. Um, but on the flip hand, if you are visiting with somebody and it's like some sort of a, a sentimental or touchy subject uh, for the reason why you're showing up, you're supposed to put a lot of things in it. Which is very strange to me because I'm like, however you like your coffee, buddy. Go ahead and have your coffee that way. I kind of understand the 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 taking your coffee black thing when you're in, like, a business situation, because black coffee is hard to drink sometimes, depending on who made it. But I, I do not understand the, hey, we're getting together, we're having some coffee, we're gonna talk about some stuff, I'm gonna put 18 creams in here, and a few sugars, um, to show you that I'm, I'm being heartfelt and earnest in everything that I say. It's like, I don't feel like coffee tells you that much. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's just kind of funny. I feel like those are, um, I feel like those are societal things from, like, the 40s that maybe, like, haven't completely died out yet. My mom was in HR. Uh, she, she dealt with, um, businessy people all day long. I like to think that the only reason that I'm not really socially stupid is because of my mom. <laughs> because it's funny, my dad and I joke about it all the time. Like, I'm I'm enough like my dad that it's really good that I picked up from my mom how to, like, interact with people, because otherwise I would be a lot like my dad. Um, not that my dad isn't, isn't fine with people, but he doesn't like people at all. Um, I cannot like a person, but act like I do, which he has, he doesn't like, he doesn't like somebody. He's like, why am I still talking? Could you leave? <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, I love my dad. It's so awesome. Um, but yeah, coffee etiquette. So if there's tea etiquette, which I'm sure there is, you should let me know. Or if you know more coffee etiquette, you should totally tell me because, uh, I think that sort of stuff is, is funny. It's interesting. Cause I know that. I think some coffee... Well, no, that's probably not true. I was gonna say, I think that some countries drink tea more often than we drink coffee. But the problem in America, at least, is that... Well, uh, U.S. America, um, is that <laughs> we all just drink coffee whenever we want coffee. Like, <laughs> sludge? Oh, well, I'll just put more sugar in it. It's, it's terrible. Or, like, there are just so many little, like, coffee shops everywhere. Did you know that 
before the coffee craze, it used to be a chocolate craze. Like, way back there used to be chocolate shops where you would get hot chocolate. Um, and you could get, which my, I don't like chocolate very much, but if I can get, um, really dark, like, bitter chocolate with chili in it, like, like, chili pepper, so good. And uh, apparently there used to be, like, like, chocolate bars and, like, chocolate cafes where you would just get, like, different types of hot chocolate. Crazy! Weird! So strange! But at the same time, it makes sense because chocolate was such a, like, strange commodity. Um... And now they, they slowly got replaced with coffee. Interesting. Makes me wonder what the next one will be. What will we want next? I don't know. People love coffee. People love coffee. I don't think it's going to be tea. I think tea's been around for too long. And people who love tea know that they love tea and they sit at home and they drink tea. My favorite tea is green tea. Um, no other tea really compares. <laughs> I've tried so many different types of tea. When we were, was it when we were in England? Amanda will correct me if I'm wrong. Um, <laughs> which I'll try to come back to because, <laughs> okay, sorry. Um, when we were in England, I think we went into a shop that had all like huge jars of loose leaf tea and we all, we all got a little bit of loose leaf tea and brought it back with us. Um, I kept mine for too long. I, w I did, I did what people do with wine where they're like, no, I'm not going to drink it. I'm waiting for a good time. But the problem with tea is that especially loose leaf tea, you're not supposed to keep it past six months. And I kept it for so long and then I, just like smelling it because it smelled so good. It was like a vanilla green. Uh, and I finally was like, I should, I should throw this away. It smelled so good. It was wonderful. Um, no, no other tea. Like, I don't like, I don't like, um, fruity tasting things. A lot of people like fruit teas. Not a big fan of fruit teas. Um, black teas. Not a huge fan of black teas. Uh, I don't know. Green tea is just the best. Especially if you can get, like, spicy green tea. So good. So good. Although, there's a, there's a, was it a, oh, there was a ramen place that a friend of mine and I went to, he was like, you have to go to this place, it's awesome, and I was like, sweet, and we went there, and they had, like, the best spicy ramen I've ever had, but they also had spicy green tea, so good, it was so good, it was the best spicy green tea I've ever had in my life, if you've never had spicy green tea, and you like green tea, you should try, oh god, it, like, it makes you feel like your sinuses are just, like, ah! <laughs> like it's crazy, yeah, Sorry I keep doing weird things, like, with my tongue while I'm talking. Mm. This sort of stuff. I ate a bagel right before I filmed this, and then went, that was a terrible idea. But we're just gonna roll with it. Bagel. It's, it's bagel coffee time. Except not, because the bagel is gone. Oh, what I was gonna come back to. <laughs> saying that Amanda would uh, correct me. I was laughing so hard because I finally got the Berlin video up. Amanda's been really excited to watch um, my stuff on Germany. And she was one of the first people who commented, and the only comment that she left was, Christian was Canadian, dot, dot, dot. <laughs> and I was like, German! You are so German! Like, <laughs> it made me laugh so hard. I was like... She's very, like, she remembers details so well. And I, I, I should have expected that the comment would be, you made a mistake. <laughs> like, here, let me correct you. <laughs> it's like, oh, Amanda, I love you. And then she she wound up responding to people who had questions, which was awesome, um, because there were some things that I forgot. So there's that. Well, there, we just did so much in Berlin. Like, and I knew that if I went too deep into detail, um, it would be a 20-minute video instead of a 15-minute video. And let's be honest, it took enough time for that video to get up, so... <laughs> Uh, 15 minutes. 15 minutes is definitely going to be the borderline. <laughs> like, I don't know it was over, a little over 15 minutes, but I never, I'm never going past that again, um, because that video took so long to get up. It drove me crazy. Uh, yep. Yep. I'm wearing my fully loaded shirt today. <laughs> Felt like I was only giving you guys a uh, half of the cake, but 
It's an NVIDIA shirt. I love it. <laughs> I was like, I want to wear a giant t-shirt today. Fortunately, I have a fully loaded NVIDIA shirt. Fantastic. Ah, Coffee! Coffee! I love it. I love it so much. We have coffee at work. I think I've told you guys, sometimes when we go into work, there's a coffee already made and we're all creeped out. Um, but... <laughs> Um, we have coffee at work, and it's like a, it's kind of a, a weird shoot whether or not it's going to be good or bad because it all depends on who who got desperate enough to make it. <laughs> and then you're like, ah, oh, man, is this going to be good? We just don't know. It's kind of funny because each coffee machine is different too. Like, like you can say, oh, I'm going to get, I'm going to go to the six. I'm going to put six tablespoons in, or if you're me, six heaping tablespoons in. Uh, but depending on the machine, like, that's going to be good coffee or possibly terrible coffee. <laughs> it's like, you have to, you have to get to know the brain of the coffee machine. It's so weird. My mom always tells me that I make good coffee. I, I think that it's just th that I shell out for good coffee, not that I'm, like, good at measuring it. <laughs> Joe said I made good coffee, too. I don't get it. It's like, I put water in there, and then I put heaping tablespoons, in, and then I press the button. That's all there is to it. I don't know. Coffee. I don't know. I feel like coffee machines make it pretty easy for you. Like if we had, if we had to do old timey steeping, take a lot longer, but what can you do? I've talked for 11 and a half minutes about nothing. So <laughs> should probably go. Um, but hopefully you guys are having a good day. I will talk to you guys again tomorrow and yeah, have fun today. Do something fun. Okay. Bye-bye.